This thing's soaking wet. So. Nothing we didn't expect. I'd hoped for a miracle, but this is New England. It's more of a practical type of place. Uh, well, yeah, that's it. I can't even put chalk in any of these holds because it's just going to get soaking wet, but hoping for some sunshine now. Beach itself has everything you could ever want out of a rock climb. It's one of the most aesthetically pleasing routes I've ever seen. It's just, it has these white dribbles of sea foam that go through the rock and uh, it's, it's beautiful. <sighs> what is my history with China Beach? Well, If you've never been to Waimea before, it's almost like when you look out across the ocean and it's a super windy day and there's all these white caps and there's this foam uh, bursting out of the waves and like drizzles of white everywhere. It's the ocean frozen in time. came up to Waimea one day and there were ropes through the draws um, all the way to the top and I was just like whoa like someone's on like this hard route and it's beautiful and it's so cool and my coach was like why don't why don't you try it why don't you get on it and I was like what business do I have getting on China Beach like that's that's ridiculous but he was like why not just you know there's a rope on it just top rope and China Beach always stayed in the back of my mind because it's like the premier route of my home crag. Yeah, in my opinion, it's the king line of Rumney for sure. Um, I don't know what else you'd compare it to. It's a line, you know, it's like a discontinuous crack system in the middle of this overhanging swell. I mean, when you go to the cliff, that's kind of where you go, oh yeah, look at that. That's a cool route. I one hung it 20, 30 times, I don't know, a lot of times. And then Dave Graham and Luke Perde were climbing, ripping through all of the uh, open projects at Rumney and they were kind of leaving me alone for a while. But I got to the point where I saw him on the trail and I'm like, hey Dave, you, you guys, you go get on China Beach, you know? He was like, so excited. They were just so much better than anybody else. Have at it go for it, you know, send it, which they did.
China Beach starts off with a small slab, um, so some easier climbing, some 5'11 climbing into uh, almost a no-hands stance uh, where you can shake out, stand on your feet, um, and just contemplate the movement ahead. And then you start climbing into this like gently sloping belly that looks like a big wave coming out of the wall. And you're moving through some underclings that are good on the hands, but really insecure, slippery feet. The holds are textured and so bullet. So you have to press into the feet to make sure that they stay. And you get to a big horizontal crack, a break in the middle of the wave. And that's where you get a pretty marginal shake. You're not on very good holds, but you can kind of like reset. And then the upper half of China Beach um, from the middle of the belly wave all the way to the top is a fairly sustained boulder problem uh, where all of the more difficult climbing is. So you do a big left hand reachy move out of the break. Um, and then you kind of do some crimping moves up into uh, towards the top section. And then once I'm in that section, this is like the last kind of marginal rest. <sighs> Take some deep breaths because at the end, most people, you know, they do what's called the big iron cross move. And the iron cross is pretty notorious on this route. It's not like super hard if you have the reach, but it's still hard after you have done all the rest of the moves. And it's even harder when you can't make the reach at all like me. <laughs> and for years I tried that move and never thought China Beach was possible for me because I couldn't span it until one day I got curious and I started looking for other holds because there are options here in Rumney. And uh, I found this like marginal sloper, like a sloping, almost non-holds that's higher than everything else. Dude, I kind of like that. the seasonal christening of the sloper hold. This hold is the key to my success <laughs> and my only option for this climb. So I grab the ledge with my toe and then I reach up left hand to the little sloper that I had to find and clean off. And I change my left foot to a heel and I rose move underneath my arm and grab the good part of the arete. And once I grab that good part, I still have to fight the barn door. So I flag my right foot really hard and press to keep the swing from happening and do like one more move and clip the chains. All right. When I figured out that beta for the first time, that's when I knew this route was possible for me. That's the first time I've done those moves, that great, yeah. like done that section. It goes. Oh my God. One of my favorite parts of the whole experience of working China Beach and being back in New England has been the community and the people that I've learned from and hung out with and just like shared a lot of cool memories and, and micro beta, honestly. I, I had the edge of my toe, not the tip. The last time I was out here, uh, my friend Rajiv was filming and psyched on the route. And just made it to China Beach. Haven't even walked up to it yet. I can't, I can't stop smiling. There it is. That's the route. Rajiv is like so stoked on China Beach to the point where he's created a little micro community around the route by, you know, he has an Instagram and a podcast around China Beach. Welcome to Climbing China Beach, a podcast series all about a single route. You embark on China Beach and you're kind of like, you're on a journey. Oh, it's on the best cliff, Waimea, with, with the best rock. Like white and black streaks running down it. It's like beautiful. I think it's the perfect rock climb. Because any day that I have on that climb is is awesome. Even if I'm having a terrible day and even if the conditions are shitty, like whatever, it's beautiful. The top kind of feels like somebody said it in a gym, but the best setter in the world. So I feel like that was like a whole era of my, you know, there's like 
China Beach era. It yeah. feels like the holds are made for the route, right? Like this China Beach is like you're redlining the entire time. It's it's just so cool to have this shared connection uh, with folks, and I I really enjoy this feeling of camaraderie and support. The first week in New England was everything you might expect of a New England spring season. Uh, it's been really wet. It's wet. This hole, it's a little wet. Dude, my hands are so wet. It's a little wet. Oh, it's so wet. This is definitely dripping. Ooh, right into the pocket, a little wet. It's so wet. Wet. I like it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> wet towel incoming. It's rained at least four or five days out of the 10 days that we've been here. Which we were expecting. This is why, yeah, this is why I bought a one-way ticket to Romney, is because I knew this was gonna happen. Out of the 10 days of the trip so far, I've had four days on the climb. Three of those days, the route has been too wet to climb on in the upper half. So I've just been working the bottom and getting it really dialed. And then the one day that I've had a fully dry route was great. I was able to reach my high point from last season and I did a fairly big overlapping link from the fifth bolt to the top. Dude, that's it. Okay, you can take. I did all the moves first go, first time up here. Wow, this still feels, it feels pretty mega for the end, but just gotta get it dialed in. Oh man, I'm stoked, it feels good. The holes are dry, it's looking sick. So we're just waiting it out, being patient. Um, and I'm just psyched to be out back in Rumney, as always.
my god. Sick. <laughs> It's a relief because I've like felt some pressure and you know of course like I want to do the route and finish it but I'm also sad that it's done there's always more of course on this wall but like the China Beach chapter it's closed and I'm joyous and I'll miss it Dana. I was just talking about you. I did it. You did it? I did it! Fuck yeah! That's so rad! <laughs> First short Asian female. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Dana. <laughs> Don't get too many feet pics. People. No gotta pay money for that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there are many other women that could also climb this route. And I would love it if more women came and climbed on this entire wall because a woman can climb every single one of these routes at Waimea. Oh, it's so wet. Yeah, you made it look like butter though. <laughs> I have never seen anybody fucking shake out like that on that fucking climb. What the fuck? Jed, my hype man. So good. Can I? Yes. Will I? Probably. Nothing is guaranteed. Whatever. These are all really wishy-washy answers. <laughs> <laughs> it just went all down my back. Oh, what is the point of a rain jacket when you just dunk the water on yourself? God, all right, here we go.